it ruined me, but it just feel like I did not take a step back in life, even though it was not really a step back. And honestly, it was a traumatizing experience. Because So hi guys, um, welcome again to my YouTube channel. If you're here for the first time, please subscribe and feel free to leave your comments below and also like this video. Alright, so today's topic, I'm not sure as yet what I will name this video, but today I just wanted to encourage somebody who might feel stuck in life or stuck in a particular era of their life. Um, I remember when I was one of my jobs working as a chemical engineer, well, my first job working as a process engineer. And I remember the second week on the job, it was like we were just, I was placed in a particular area. I was supposed to be an area engineer. So I had the task of basically managing that area in terms of technical responsibilities along with the manager of course and the technical manager but yes it was like uh, I was plunged in a field to swim and not to drown all right so it's like I just started off the job and the company was just starting up as well so it's like you never I never had much of a chance to be learning the material before i had to be applying all of the information so all i know is that i was reading 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 the first week and then the second week i got placed in the area to oversee the technical issues mind you none of us as engineers had um any previous experience <laughs> working in the alumina industry are working as chemical engineers per se. Yeah, no, no, we, no, 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 we never have any experience. So, anyways, I remember that week is like I had to be learning the era and also handling the technical issues for that part of the process. So, it's like, may I learn well, may I tell people what to do, may I learn well, may I figure it out. And it was not easy, but I just had to put in the hours the main thing was that I had good support from a manager I had good support from the manager of the area and the workers were also very very helpful so yeah so I had to be putting in all of that hours working until like 11 o'clock in the night working until like the next morning and then I had to like leave work go back home come back to work in the morning for the morning meetings that I could present information as to what was happening in the area and all of the bottlenecks or whatever the situations were at the time but you know it worked out but putting the, the work dedicate myself to it fully is like we just definitely make up in our mind say is it like a drone or you swim i'm not saying me i'm not a drowning person <laughs> somebody did have to swim but they have to make it somebody have to make it work out somewhere somehow but they have to figure it out I figure, figure out myself, figure out what I was doing, and make the process run. So either way, I worked there for like six months. And mind you, I enjoyed it because when I do something where you enjoy, even though it might be hard, you know, you enjoy it, so you make it work. So you know, when I work there, I dedicate the time, I put in the hours, it was hard, it was hot. Because I was like spending majority of my time on top of some hot tanks, and uh, which would boil sometime, <laughs> which was like some safety hazard. But um, it was it was it was it was good experience because you learn off a thing quick. You learn off no panic. That's what the next thing is like. I couldn't panic in whatever situation I was going through because. If you panic, you can't think. So as I was saying, so in a situation like that, you can't panic. You basically have to just 
figure out what you're doing if you don't understand something try to get help and it, it teaches you how to be humble because even though you're in such a position of power you still have to learn how to communicate with people how to ask for help without even asking for help or to seek advice from persons and how to learn quickly from your mistakes and how to devote yourself to something and stick to a problem that is an excellent so you have to learn to, as an engineer you have to learn to, how to stick to problems and not just you can't just step over something or sweep it under the rug you have to learn to stick to a problem so you can resolve it and so that you can understand exactly how you alleviate the problems that next time and there will always be next times so you know how to fix the problem the next time and advise persons all right so basically i worked there for some time i uh, probably about six months i worked there for and then i was told that all right so our process statistician had left the whole plant process statistician had left and so i had to go into that position mind you i did not want to go into that position because but it just i like you know get a hands on what i was doing in that era so it's like it ruined me but it just feel like me did not take a step back in life even though it was not really a step back and honestly it was a traumatizing even experience. though it's like even though i was struggling and still trying to hold everything together in that era i felt like i was making progress and i was understanding the process i was understanding how to fit how to you know fix certain problems i was understanding the equipment the workers the process basically and i tell you after i left that position and i went into this new position it's like my first start learning all over back again it's like i was learning the systems of the plant i was learning the entire process i was learning the the business side to running the production i was learning the the money side basically the the overall reporting side to the the more management side of the, the whole production system and it was good it was not good while i was in the position but it was good overall let me explain it's like during that time i tell you when you're in the production it's like you're running up and down not really running up and down but you know like you're busy in the production making things happen making a uh, magic but is that when you're out of the production line I was that second role that I had I had to be like in an office all day long and it didn't drive me crazy it many times me too like my dad would just leave because it just it was a lot because I don't like being in like some office space that is why I became an engineer because I don't want to stay in my office all day long I look on a computer screen so it's like it did affect me mentally and I felt like i wasn't doing enough as an engineer i felt like i was i just felt like i wasn't doing what i wanted to do but at the same time it's like i was learning a lot i was learning how to manipulate variables in the production line i was learning all of the 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 the, the calculations to to to, to um to do production calculations, to do energy calculations, to do steam calculations, to do everything basically. How to calculate alumina production, how to calculate um your losses, your soda losses, everything. I was learning a whole lot, but I didn't realize while I was in the position because they just miserable because I wasn't where I wanted to be at that particular time. So it's like I really emphasize this so that we can understand something here that even though I was where I was I didn't want to be at the time I was learning a whole lot and I didn't even realize that all of this that I was learning would eventually benefit me in a significant way it's like God took me out of the field to teach me the technical some more technical to teach me the whole process and just some more technical things that i needed to learn for where i was going to be placed next and while i was in that position it was like uh, i was learning programming i was learning about the other 
parts of the process and how everything kind of intertwine to give you the production i was learning all of the different variables that we needed to make the final production so it's like i had a overall view of what was happening in the process at the time and uh, you know when i was eventually i would have been transferred from that part of the, from from where i was working at the time to another back into the production line and uh, i was able I'm not tooting my own heart, but I was able, uh, in my own self, I could see that I had a way better understanding of the whole process. I, have, I was able to manipulate the variables better. I was able to do my calculations better and to not just be hands-on, but to be more technically rounded as an engineer because I got all of that experience with the whole program inside, with the whole numbers that were involved. And mind you, in Illumina production, the calculations are not... I don't even know how to put it. I have to have an understanding of uh, a bauxite and alumina chemistry per se. To have an understanding of how to do certain calculations. Yeah. So either way, long story short, sometimes in life, God has to place us in certain positions where we are molded and we are groomed for where he wants to take us, for where he wants to take us next. And sometimes you're in a position you're uncomfortable, you don't understand why you're currently in that position, you want to just be doing something, you just want to be working at something, but sometimes God has to basically pull you out to train you and groom you for, for where he wants to catapult you to. And even while I was in that position, the second position, and I felt discouraged and I felt depressed at times. At the same time, I learned that I had to make use of where I was. So it's like I, I, the whole thing came to me that, you know, I have to grow where I'm planted. And so wherever God has you, make use of that place there. Don't think too lowly of where you are right now. I feel like this is unnecessary because God knows exactly why he has you there for this season and everything is for a time and a season so make use of where you're at no matter where no matter how it might seem like it's a low job or no matter how it might seem like oh this is not where i want to be just make use of where you are at because in the future or anyhow it might work out you have a better understanding as to why you started where you started do not despise small beginnings and because of the grooming that i experienced because of the things that i learned in that second position because of everything that i, I did and all the calculations that i was exposed to because i had to be calculating all of the numbers for the whole plant everything that involved that were involved in the whole plant so i had to look into dig into the calculations to make sure that they were correct and everything was good because of that knowledge that i gained by doing that it made me a whole better person so when i was transferred back into the plant i was able to to do exceptionally better i was able to create some really good um programs per se i don't even know if i would call them programs like dashboards to, with um calculations to calculate my, my daily numbers it was way easier for me to get my daily numbers it was way easier for me to understand what was happening in my side of the plant because I had such a great understanding of what was happening in the entire plant. So it's like I was able to link to understand my part of the process better because I got that experience in understanding the whole process. And yeah, it's a bigger picture. And even life is a bigger picture. So whatever you need for, 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 for reaching the next level that God is taking, whatever you need to get to the next level that God is taking you, he builds that in you by placing you where you're at now just make use of the time that you have now make use of the space that you're in now and allow god to really lead you and allow god to direct you so that you understand why am i here because nothing in your life is wasted god make use of every little part of your life to make you into the person that he wants you to be and um i hope i was able to explain properly um all of my thoughts kind of all over the place but i hope this video was beneficial to you in some way or form and 
Stay blessed.